So I was showing my father-in-law my bandsaw the other day and this whole assembly came down, whacked on there and the aluminium castings that are in the Electra Beckham this is a BAS 316G that I brought from the UK when I came across to Australia I'd previously replaced the parts here and the guides underneath here and that's in another video but this part here now broke off and fell into a few parts so I went about designing something in Fusion 360 again and printing something out so this was the first iteration of that so I thought what I'd do is I'd put on like a side fillet in here and that would give it extra strength from bending in that direction and as always with any first iteration when I was putting these in they just didn't go quite in far enough for the bolts to go through if I used a pair of pliers I'd be able to squeeze that in but I've had people who have printed out these parts before to try and recover a, a broken bandsaw so I wanted something that other people can use if they wanted it so then I printed out the next one and that one I gave a bit more space so now this the nuts go in there nice and easily and you can see that they're easily accessible from under there but with increasing the size of that, that meant that the nuts in here could spin around so that made it not, not so good I can't spin that around just now but under tension it will so I printed out another version and I'll show you the, the file for that in a moment and I've already installed that on there it's still got the fillet on that side but on the other side so as we can see in there the nuts don't have anything around those areas so you can get a spanner in there to tighten that up um, but what I found was there's also a little hex insert and I'll show you that later where the nut actually sits in a recess so I was able to tighten that up from underneath without any issue now that that's been tightened in let's just try some testing where if I push down on that you can see that's barely moving at all so it's actually got quite a lot of strength in that part so I'm, so I'm really pleased about that and now I'll show you how I built that in Fusion 360 only other thing is these belts decided to break at the same time as that part there so I'll just show you this working ever so briefly because I don't want to uh, dull the blade and as point, someone pointed out I still need to turn that blade around because I've got it uh, upside down So that's all working good. So I'll show you that in Fusion 360 now. This was the clamp that I made. So it gets printed out in this orientation so that it doesn't need any supports. And if I just go back one, and this is how I designed it. So you've got the little insert for the nut here, and I fill it just to make it a bit stronger here. And if I just take it back to the beginning, so the first sketch was the side profile so it's just draw that shape there and we can extrude that to make just a general shape then we do a sketch on this plane here to do a slot then we just extrude that slot all the way through there so now we've got a sketch here for the screw hole so we've got the two points there and there and a sketch for the hex nut with an offset of half a millimeter so that seems to be a good offset for letting the nut get in so then we just extrude the hex nut space so that there's actually space to get beyond these parts here then we do two holes these were let me check I think they were six and a half millimeters so the M6 um, screw hole 6.3 millimeters I did 
and then we do a sketch on the end here and just draw that. I'll show you that. So that was just drawn a, a, a point from here to here, along and up. And then we can extrude that fillet along to create that there. And then I just did a fillet along here just to give it some extra strength. And that was it. So then it was just make, select the body. So then it was just send that out to uh, file for pulling into Cura to then print that out. So, yeah, that was a simple build and it's fixed that part of the band. So now I just need to get two new tires or bandages as Electra Beckham or Metabo call them and we'll get that back in action. Cheerio.